Hi folks, what I'm going to be doing in this video is introducing a brand new feature in Logs.io called Data Parsing. In log analysis, accurate parsing is crucial for easier and more efficient log analysis and visualization. Now, Logs.io provides automatic parsing for the most common log types, but in some cases you're still going to want to define your own parsing, and you can do this now using the new Data Parsing wizard. Let's see how. Data parsing is accessed from the log shipping page in Logs.io and includes four main steps. In the first step, we need to select a log type to parse. Just a side note here, at this point, some log types, those that have Logs.io defined parsing, for example, can't be selected here. If you want to customize parsing for these log types, you'll need to contact the Logs.io support team. In this case, I'm going to parse some Apache access logs. Since Logs.io applies automatic parsing to Apache access logs, I purposely named the logs Apache Custom. In the next step, we will configure the parsing. To do this, we first need to select some log messages to act as sample logs for the parsing. You can select five samples out of up to 500 logs for that type shipped to Logs.io. If nothing shows up, it means you haven't shipped anything in the last 48 hours. We're now going to select a parsing method. Currently, only grok is supported, with delimiter, JSON, and key value parsing to be introduced soon. Well, let's do some grokking. We're going to start with the client IP field. And then continue to map the rest of the fields. You'll notice that as soon as you begin grokking, your log lines will begin to be parsed into separate fields in the parse results table below. The different colors highlighting the fields will help you match the fields in the log lines with your parsing results. Make sure you see the name you chose for the fields in the log. Remember to include a name for each field. If there's no field name in your grok, the field won't show up in your parsing. Now, we all know grokking is not as straightforward as we'd like it to be, so I recommend using the Grok debugger to help test your parsing and use ready-made patterns. Field types are defined automatically by Elasticsearch, which is great in most cases. Sometimes, however, you might want to select other field types. For example, if you want to add GeoIP enrichment to an IP field or define a timestamp field. In the next step in the wizard, we can apply some advanced parsing customizations. Now the options displayed here depend on how you configured parsing in the previous step. For example, since we parsed the client IP field as a geo IP field, we can decide which geo fields to enrich it with. Under set timestamp, you'll be able to configure all the timestamp fields appearing in the logs. For example, which timestamp is the leading timestamp or the date format for the timestamp field. Last but not least, in the final step of the wizard, we're going to validate the parsing we just configured. We'll be able to see the parsing applied to both the sample logs we selected to work with at the beginning of the process, and to the last 500 lines of logs belonging to that specific log type. In case of a parsing error, we'll be able to see the logs that didn't pass parsing so we can go back to the previous steps in the wizard and fine tune the parsing. That's all there is to it. Hitting apply, applies our custom parsing to the logs, so you can start analyzing them in Kibana. The data parsing feature is currently in beta mode, and we're counting on our community to give us feedback so we can improve it before announcing its general availability. So if you do have any feedback, any ideas, questions, comments, please let us know. Thanks for watching.